players have in common. Eli Manning, Travis Kelsey, Jimmy Garoppolo. Every single one of those players has two rings. I'm not on Jimmy G's level. No. We are dangerously close right now to getting our second Super Bowl ring, but we are not there yet. In last episode, we made our way through the wild card playoff with not much difficulty. And today we find ourselves in the AFC Championship. We got Josh Allen, McCaffrey, and Franco Harris in the backfield. Our wide receivers haven't changed much recently, but our offensive line is certainly improving. We've got Gronk and Shannon Sharp at tight end. And defensively, I've got two of the best middle linebackers in the game. I've got insane D-line. My D-line might be the highlight of this team, actually. If Nick Bosa would just get an upgrade already. Dude, he had a really good game. Also, I saw the Harvest drop. No Nick Bosa. That's a bummer. Hopefully, at least Harvest drop two or something will have a Nick Bosa. But for now, we are Nick bosa list. The rest of this squad is super good. We're an 87 overall, and we've got two huge wheel spins today to continue to upgrade this team. Keep in mind, this is the playoffs, so I only get two wheel spins, but those two wheel spins are absolutely juice. So hopefully we get some amazing players out of it. It's the AFC Championship, boys. We make it through this game. We get a new prestige player. We make the Super Bowl, and hopefully we can win another ring. Oh, no. What do we take? So I can get any 88 overall all Madden player. And if I win the game, we get to get the 91 overall version. So quick example, there's this 88 Derek Thomas, which is an absolutely insane card already. Such an absurd edge rusher. But if we win the game, which of course we need to do right now anyway, since we're in the playoffs, I would be entitled to the 91 overall, which is this Derek Thomas right here. So if you thought the last Derek Thomas was insane, imagine adding three to all of his stats. Honestly, I'm leaning towards Derek Thomas. The only problem with this Derek Thomas. You gotta look at the coverage stats on this Derek Thomas. They're so bad. Like, this Derek Thomas only rushes the quarterback. That's all he does. So if I ever get caught out putting this Derek Thomas in coverage, he's utterly useless. He has 46 man coverage and 56 zone coverage. It's it, it's so bad. He's actually like a liability. So if I was gonna get this Derek Thomas, I'd basically have to put him where Nick Bosa is. He'd have to be... I would put him at right end. I don't want him ever accidentally in coverage. Honestly, what's gonna be best for this team is getting a 91 overall corner. My corners are good, but in the only game I lost in the regular season, Joey Porter Jr. got absolutely tore up by Randy Moss. So I think we go Champ Bailey here, and if we catch a dub, we get the 91 overall Champ Bailey. This Champ Bailey is already really good. I think that's the move. The only other thing I'd do is Marvin Harrison, and I'd put him in for Yoshi, but I don't want to take Yoshi out. Marvin Harrison's real nice, though. I think Champ Bailey's the right call here. We're gonna take 88 overall Champ Bailey, and hopefully we catch a dub. That'll mean we get 90 one overall Champ Bailey. Let's compare Champ Bailey and Joey Porter Jr. side by side. It's not that shocking to me that Joey Porter Jr. was getting lit up. He's just not fast enough. He doesn't have the excel, the agility, the speed, but he has good man coverage, he has better man coverage, and better press than Champ. Keep in mind, this is the 88 Champ, so I think we throw Bailey in right now. Oh, no. Bailey. Ba Bailey. Ba 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 Bailey. Tomorrow, and yeah, this is my show channel. Okay. All right, champs in. I'm gonna put Joey Porter Jr. Where are you? Where are you? I'm gonna put him in the back. All right, y'all. First wheel spin gives us champ Bailey. Second wheel spin. I, I honestly do still want an outside linebacker. Just not a power rush. I guess we're gonna find out what we got here. Age jackpot. So I can get any single player in the NFL, but they must be. That's actually probably a really good age to get. How old is Micah Parsons? Oh, uh -huh. Uh, May 26th, 1999. Micah Parsons is 24 years old. Hey, yo, can you even buy his card though? Micah Parsons has an insane card, but it's like a yeah, it's a it's a field pass card, which I haven't unlocked. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. I can't even get Micah Parsons. I guess he's kind of the same thing as Derek Thomas. So I wouldn't have really wanted him anyway. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of 24 year olds. So Micah Parsons, a Dallas Cowboy, we can't get him. But can you think of any other 24-year-old Dallas Cowboys that might want to be on this team? Dude, I was literally just saying I do not want to replace Yoshi. Like, I really don't. But, oh my god, he's a million. He's a million coins for limited CD Lamb. And he's 24 years old, born April 8th, 1999, CD Lamb. Oh, dude, he's been nuts this year, too. He's been really, really good. 24 years old, CD Lamb. 
slam. That's insane. So wide receiver, like he almost could fight with Jamar for wide receiver one, but I don't think there's any reason to do that. They're both 90 overalls. They're both incredible. I'm going to put CD Lamb at wide receiver two, Jamar at wide receiver one, Tyree Kill can be wide receiver three, and then I'll move Yoshi to wide receiver four. Hopefully Yoshi still like sees the field. We'll try and get him a reception here and there, but at the end of the day, he is an 81 overall and this is the AFC championship. Yoshi, I love you. Can we all just have a moment of silence for our boy? Thank you very much. He didn't die or anything. I just, he's the homie. He got benched. That's all. Survived the playoffs. We're one loss to elimination. We're one win from the Super Bowl. This is arguably the most nerve wracking game of any Wheel of Mutt because once I make the Super Bowl, I get a prestige player. And that is so important. We'll take a rip on the challenge wheel. Always crucial in the playoffs. One of any pack from the store if we can complete it. Our spin is four passing. Touchdown. I've certainly done it before. Ooh, but in the AFC Championship? We'll see how this goes. I would hate to be in like a fourth and one scenario, and I really want to QB sneak it. We'll see. Jamar, Mean Joe Green, Luke Keekley. It's a night game in Bill Stadium. He's got Moss, Kelsey, Marlon Humphrey. Wow, wait. Oh my God, it's Bengals Bills. It's Bengals Bills. <laughs> AFC Championship. That's actually wild because at the start of this season, this was my AFC Championship prediction. But dude, it's looking like the Bills aren't even going to make the play. Playoffs at this point. I guess we'll see what happens. That ball. Oh my God. That ball was an actual inch away from like safety or my ball potential. Oh my God. He's going to throw quick. He saw something. Wow. Let's switch this up. First and 10 right here. I've got that underneath cover now. Could be a handoff. It is a handoff. And Keekly's all over it. Monster play. Keekly right up the middle. Do we have pressure? No. All right. He is going to hand that off. Dude, look at his offense. Motion zone split. Have you ever seen that play? These are my favorite games to play, man. Is somebody new, somebody different. Let's go on Derwin. I see 87. Oh, that's mine. Psych. I got to swat that ball. I can't. Oh, I wanted the interception. It's going to throw underneath to Bo Jackson, who makes the catch. I'm on Derwin for the run. Play action? You're kidding. Neither of my guys caught that. Nobody even animated. Dude, that was Keekly with Lurk Artist and Derwin James. Let's go score on our own. Ooh, CeeDee Lamb's already getting reps. CeeDee Lamb's already getting reps. Out to the 31. Nice work. Oh, that's about the best thing I've ever seen. So is Dave Robinson Lurk Artist. He has no inside stuff. I haven't seen that in a long time. Oh, great juke out of McCaffrey. Another one. Dude, I'm so used to seeing inside stuff on every team. To have no inside stuff is crazy. Dave Robinson is about a mile behind Jamar Chase. That ain't gonna happen. About to say, stretch probably isn't the move, but he pinched. So, it was the move. Huge shoot. Dude, McCaffrey's fucking cooking. Oh, let's go, McCaffrey. Tight end attack. This is what he was drilling me with. Just gonna go McCaffrey. Ooh, that got sketchy. Look at those wide receivers. Jamar Chase, CeeDee Lamb, Tyree Kill. Yep. Cross, cross drag, man. Every single time. It's so good against man. Third and two. It's a big play. Okay, so that time. Wow. It's a it's a perfect ball that can't be caught. Fourth and two. Go Gronk! He got him! Gronk's in the end zone! Fourth and two! Oh, that was huge. Steven Boyd's got Lurk Artist on him, but he cannot stay with Gronk. Gronk might be my guy this whole game, which is crazy. I'm not blitzing Bates. I'm just gonna use her in here. You go halfback. Ooh, can't go anywhere. That's his first incomplete pass. Oh, that's a run. It's about to say. I recognize that motion. Bo can't get anything on the ground right now. That's huge. And I got to cover the flats on the right. Get up! <laughs> By the way, I know the field says divisional, but that's because Madden's stupid and they fucking took the NFC and AFC championship logos out of head to head. I like my immersion. Some of you, I know some of you don't care, but I like my immersion. First and 10, that's an RPO. He's averaging 0.25 yards per carry. We know this play. Is he gonna go halfback? Oh no. First and 10. Mean Joe Green! That's why we spent all those coins, that big jackpot, on Mean Joe Green. There is no way he can make that throw, right? I literally watched Josh Allen miss a, a set feet throw. And he's gonna hammer that. He's gonna throw out the backfield to Bo, and I have no idea how 33 didn't hit him. It's not gonna keep up like this. It's, so long as I keep scoring, I will win. Lots. 
of time over here. Throw to Tyreek. That's the same throw I complained about. We just delivered, so no more complaints. He's gonna pinch there, but I think David Robinson's accounted for. Yeah, he is. Sort of. Five yards on the ground. You'll win a ball game like that. I'm gonna take that to the two-minute warning. I can make this 14 to 14. I can get ball half. I wonder if the Tyreek Hill whip route. Oh, wow. The Tyreek Hill whip route was so free. Luckily, Josh Allen is fast. We'll just pick that up on the ground. Oh, cooked his ass. I love it. Great work. By the way, by the way, can we just get something across, okay? So I see these comments talking about I always want to run whip routes. You realize that's reactive and not proactive, right? You realize that when my opponent runs cover two man LB blitz every single fucking play that I don't have a choice? You know that, right? I could lose instead if you'd prefer. That, that run game is so effective right now. Shannon Sharp is only a 79 overall, but he makes a huge catch right there. That's what I was worried about, but he, he got it. Second and five, I'm gonna let some clock tick here. I have two timeouts. Right up the middle. Oh, what the fuck? What was that? This is a huge possession though. I have to score here. <laughs> that's what I was saying. I was scared of that though for the challenge wheel, but that's too big. It's too big of a moment. We have to take the touchdown when it's there. He wants to stay in three down linemen. That's fine. I'll take two, I'll take 150 rushing yards and a W. Hey, and that clock management was, whoa, there's a lot of 14s. 14 to 14 with 14 seconds. Anybody's favorite number 14? Hey, put $5 on 14 at roulette. If it hits, go straight to the strip club. Whoa, don't house that. Play it over the top and blitzing. I'd like to just end this. Just put a hot rod on every kick. Lays up the middle on touch. Second and 10. Nice work. I wouldn't be surprised if he just tries a corner route, Randy Moss. Oh my God, I'm good. And I still couldn't fucking get it. That's okay though. The tackle is actually massive and me being over there is massive because nobody can hit this field goal. Nobody in this game can hit this field goal right now. So he's forced to run one more play. He's just probably looking for the, the, the best one-on-one -on -one he can get. See, I'm swatting now. I'm not intercepting. That's a massive play. And we'll go into halftime 14-14 and we get the ball. Why did Jamar stop in the middle of his fucking slant route? I fucking hate that. He's gonna clear. He's faster than all of them. What monkey at EA decided that you put a guy on a slant route and they run a fucking dig? A sit down dig? Oh my God, that almost resulted in a turnover. He's trying to get over to the whip. He just barely gets there. Now it's third and eight. Third and eight. Oh, I've got McCaffrey, but honestly, it's not even worth the risk. First and 10. I wonder if I could try that McCaffrey again. Oh, there's a flag. I think he just got a DPI. He must have got something. That would have been fourth and three. <laughs> Let's go with a stretch here. Those are beautiful blocks. Franco Harris is in, though. McCaffrey must be really tired. Bronk. An excellent route, but wasn't able to get much more than that. Third and seven. I got to take a shot. Josh Allen! He's got those. He's only got three down line in the entire time. He's not able to get as much as he'd like to there. First and 10, I'm about to use the whole third quarter on this drive. McCaffrey, a nice juke. Will Shields isn't really able to get out in front of this, though. Take him. Continuing to move the rock. This is such a tough game. Couldn't ask for anything better. Second and 10, might have my boy Gronk. I do. Why are you getting robbed? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you have him. Look. I'm going inside zone here. Whoa! Let's play ball! 11 rushes, 88 yards, and a touchdown for McCaffrey. Let's fucking play ball. Jamar, clear! Touchdown! That's why he's on the jersey! Let's go, baby! Wow, he just threw a hospital pass that also could have been picked off. Is that a handoff? Jalen Johnson's having a tough time right now. Is he chewing clock? There's a handoff. Bo, there's his first, like, positive yards on a run. We'll go second and five here. I'm going to play outside, and I'm going to blitz. Tight end attack. It's just past me. Nice play. I saw it a little late. It's just past me. Nice play. Dude, I fought and fought and fought to score, and he does it in no time. If you ain't going to guard that, I just might do it. There's second and inches. Come out in the same formation, I'll probably just run this ball. I mean, he knew, but it didn't matter. He's making adjustments. He's getting blocked. 
And McCaffrey's getting eight yards on a carry up the middle. I got Evan McPherson, no abilities, so we're not in range. Oh my God, this is the first time I've seen him switch. I don't know his defense. It's throwable! Jamar! What a fucking ball, Josh Allen! Oh, I could just suck you off, Josh. I won't, but I could. He sees that. So long as I'm in bounds, I'm happy. Second and 12. He calls a timeout. Sam will blitz. All right. I'll get back to playing ball then. I wonder if CeeDee Lamb is there. No, he sees it, but he doesn't see Gronk. Wide open. First and 10 on the 20. He calls a timeout. He needs to. Single back bunch nasty verts. Just take what we can get. Oh my goodness. The run game is so fucking diabolical right now. It doesn't have any reason to be. My O-line doesn't have a single player over an 88. If I get a first down, I end the game. He knows it's a run, but does he see the stretch? We're gonna find out. <laughs> That's ball game! That's ball game! We just have to hit a fucking absolute cake field goal, and that's ball game. I need, um... Right, boy, you that scared, huh? I need Neil. Where the fuck is Neil? Absolutely negative chance that I do anything that could possibly jeopardize this game here. It was a slow Neil. All right, boy, you, uh, you ass, bro. I just know that you ass and shit, so. Come on, let's go! Holy shit! That was fucking clock wizardry. That was some prime Belichick wizardry. Not a single turnover in the entire game. Mike Vick with a perfect passer rating. 13 for 16, 230 and three touchdowns. Josh Allen, 14 for 18, 126 yards and two touchdowns. So no challenge wheel completed. On the ground, here's, here's, this is how you win a ball game. Eight yards per carry. Christian McCaffrey, 15 attempts, 120 yards compared to Bo Jackson's seven or one point one yards per carry. It wasn't even my game plan. My game plan was not to chew the clock like that. It was just that hard to score. It was my game plan in the fourth quarter. Jamar was 5 for 56 in a touchdown. Gronk was 4 for 32 in a touchdown. Kelsey was 4 for 83. Bo got in the end zone himself. Marvin Harrison got in the end zone. Tyler Conklin got in the end zone. This just shows you how much he was, uh, he was guessing pass. Two pancakes for Gronk, two for Will Shields, one for Country Strong, one for Dickerson, one for Evan Neal. That means you guessed pass. Christian McCaffrey is MVP of that game, and there's no question. Win the Super Bowl to become a season's champion. And importantly, don't forget. So we win the game. 88 champ Bailey is turning now into 91 overall champ Bailey. Top three corner in the game right now. 92 speed, 91 excel. He's absolutely insane. So I have two offensive prestiges right now. That's Jamar Chase and Rob Gronkowski. I feel like Trent Williams is not the worst prestige. He definitely could get another offensive line card. But as of right now, I don't think he has anything. Honestly, CD Lamb would be a pretty cool prestige. But then I have two prestige wide receivers. I don't think I want to do that. And for the most part, I don't really prestige in the backfield. I don't like to prestige a quarterback because then I have the same quarterback every season. And I like McCaffrey, but not a guy I'd prestige either. Prestiging a guy with lurk artists would be really good, like Keekly or Anthony Walker. But are either of them going to get another card? I could see Luke Keekly maybe getting an ultimate legend, but we're talking like March, April. That means Joe Green was so unbelievably good in that game, bro. He single-handedly bottled that Bo Jackson. I think he's my front runner. The only thing to keep in mind is I can still prestige a player that I pick up in the Super Bowl, right? So if I get Patrick Sertan, who has a 92 overall harvest card, I could prestige that. That'd be a nice prestige. All right, boys. Absurd game. It doesn't get any better than that. The next episode is the Super Bowl, and we earned the right to be there. I appreciate you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.